How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be making this awesome Star Wars title. But first, I have a growing backlog of projects that I just haven't finished or didn't get a chance to make videos on. So if any of these interest you, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have something you'd like to see, let me know that too. Alright, to get started, I'm going to go over to my effects tab. I'm going to go down and put in a new fusion composition. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to change the length of it from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. And then I'm going to go into the fusion tab. I'm going to grab a background, I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to turn the alpha down to zero. This will just size our composition to what we need it to. Then I'm going to add in a text 3D, I'm going to add in a render 3D, a spotlight, a directional light, and I'm going to merge it all together. Next I'm going to put in normal text, I'm going to type out something like super awesome title. I'm going to choose my font, the reason I do it on this one and not the 3D text is if you try and scroll through your fonts in 3D text, it'll crash the system. Sitka Small looks pretty good, I'm going to use that. The actual text is ITC Serif Gothic, but I believe you have to pay for that one or download it from a sketchy website. So we're not going to do that today, I'm just going to stick with this. Once I have that, I'm going to go over to my 3D text, I'm going to change the font there, I'm going to copy and paste my text over, and then I'm going to bring it up in the viewer so I can see it. If you're having trouble seeing it, you can turn lighting on and off here. Make sure you go to the render node and enable lighting and shadows. Next I'm going to temporarily disable this directional light, and I'm just going to deal with the spotlight for now. The spotlight you won't be able to see because it's sitting directly over the text right now, so I'm going to move it back. I'm going to go to my transform tab, I can move it to approximately 3.2, and that works pretty well. Now it's not going to cover the whole text, and the reason is if we bring it up in the render view, our text is just way too huge, so I'm going to drop that down to 0.2. I'm also going to center the text and I'm going to give it a little bit of thickness. Under extrusion, I'm going to give it 0.05. Now if I go up to my transform tab, I'm going to add in a little bit of rotation. I'm going to go to frame 180, I'm going to go ahead and make it negative 60, I'm going to click the keyframe for it, and then I'm going to go to 240, just click the reset and I'll add a keyframe to make it zero. And this is just going to give us a little bit of rotation. Now I'm going to go back to my spotlight, I'm going to go back to the control tab, and I just want to turn this down and make it a little bit of a gray, kind of purplish light. I'm going to turn back on the directional light, and the intensity is way too bright, so I'm going to turn it down to 0.175. I need two more directional lights, so I'm going to copy and paste it twice. I'm going to put those in, and I'm going to change the rotation on the two. The first one, I'm going to change its rotation in the Y to negative 45. The next one, I'm going to change the Y rotation to negative 100. And this is just going to give me a little bit more even lighting when it rotates. I can go ahead and plug that all in, and now it's time to add in the additional Star Wars text. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this text node, I'm going to hit F2 and rename it Star, I'm going to put in Star for the text, I'm going to bring it up to my viewer, and now I'm going to scroll through the fonts and find one called Star Jedi. I'll leave a link in the description for you to download this one. First thing is my text too small, so I'm going to make it 0.386, I'm going to change the color to black, and then I'm going to make sure that I center this text as well. I'm going to go over my shading tab, turn on 2, enable it, and then I'm going to change it from red and I'm going to get a bluish color. I found these values work pretty well. Now I'm going to go to the layout tab and I'm going to change its position a little bit. I'm going to change Y to 0.62. Now I can just copy and paste this text. I'm going to rename it Wars, put in the text Wars, and then I'm going to go to the layout tab and I'm going to change its position to 0.36. Now I can merge those two together, bring it up in the viewer, and it's looking pretty good, pretty good. Next I need to add in a transform to make these move. So I'm going to put in a transform, I'm going to go to frame 160, I'm going to keyframe that, I'm going to go to frame 250, and I'm going to change that to 0.55. Now I go to my spline editor, I can resize this, grab both those points, and hit S to smooth them out. Now I just copy and paste that over, hold shift, drag it on the line to connect it, and I'll change 0.55 to 0.45. Merge it all together, and if I look at it, I have something that looks like this. That's looking good! Woo! Yeah! Alright, motion's looking pretty good, and the next step is to make this text invisible until we want to see it. So to do that, I'm going to add in a background, I'm going to change the color to white, I'm going to go to my text 3D, I'm under shading, I'm going to change it from solid to image. This will add an extra input, now I can plug in my background, and I'm going to add in a mask. Just grab a rectangle mask, plug that in. Go ahead and change the width to 1.2 and the height to 1.2. Go ahead and click invert and this will make our text disappear. I'm going to go to frame 160, I'm going to go ahead and keyframe the position. Then I'm going to go to 220 and I'm just going to pull this up until my text becomes visible. Around 1.6 should work. One thing you want to do that I forgot to do, go back to your rectangle mask and change the soft edge to 0.1 or bigger, however you want to feather out that mask. 
few more things. First, we're gonna to need to add in the actual background. I got this from Pixabay, I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure it's set as the foreground, the green line, and not the background. We'll bring that all up in the viewer to look at it. Now it's still a little bright, so I'm gonna add in a color corrector, and really all I'm gonna do with that is just bring down the saturation to get all that color out. Next, I'm gonna add in a brightness contrast to kind of brighten up the lights and darken out the background. I'm going to play with the gain and the contrast, and all I'm really trying to do with this is get the black of the background to kind of match the black of the text. Alright, last thing we need to do is to animate this all together, so I'm going to add a transform after this merge. I'm going to go to my final frame, and I'm just going to keyframe the size at 1. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning, and I'm just going to crank up the size until it fits the entire frame. And here's our final composition. Thank you for watching, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more, and until next time, make something awesome.